Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Grace, or you can call me Mommy Grace. Uh, mainly in this video, I post videos about our travel adventures, family travel adventures, lifestyle, and my love for luxury, which is right here in front of me, uh, Louis Vuitton. Okay guys, so in this video, I'll be sharing with you my Louis Vuitton repair experience. But before we get into that, to my Filipino subscribers, I hope you guys stay tuned all the way at the end of the video. I have a small giveaways for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so here it is. My brought back to life vintage Kipal 45. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> That's a song. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> she is. She is very gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Look how beautiful the vaqueta is. Everything is just fantastic. So let's start with the storytelling of this bag um this bag like i said is the vintage keep all 45. um if you guys are going to pay attention of this hardware right here this is the very first um style or hardware that they used to have for the keep all um and for sure if you guys are um knowledgeable with the, the vintage ones the original zipper of the vintage kipa that goes to with this hardware it has a pull tab so yes okay it's getting interesting right now <laughs> so it has a pull tab and it's supposed to um lock you know the pull tab supposed to like lock here with this hardware and as you guys are noticing i don't have that i have the double zipper which is the current style of the keep out right the double zipper and then you put the lock i have the lock right here right here and then you put the lock in the middle so i have the early version of the keep all and then i have the old version of the keep all um hardware okay so how did that happen most people always say um most of the videos that i have watched about the louis vuitton repair is that they will never ever ever change the style of the bag and yes in most cases actually in majority i think that is very true um on my case it is very unique and I'm very, very thankful that um, that they allowed me or they they allowed um, my request to be able to keep the this beautiful, unique piece of hardware right here. Um, okay, guys. So if you're going to ask me of the age of this bag. Okay, let's look at the inside first. See, to, to prove you guys that she is vintage. So... This is the original Vaqueta leather. It's so um, dark and has already patinaed beautifully and compared to the very white one. So this bag here, the serial code is right on this one right here, right? But the serial code, does it have numbers? I only have the letter which... Uh, which is stamp here, S-A, uh, made in France. And um, I think most of you guys um, already knew that the earliest um, date code or the number stamping is around 1983s. So I'm assuming this one is 82, 81, hopefully, or probably older than that. So yes, guys, this bag is roughly around 40 years old. Can't you believe that? And she is still very, very stunning. Um, I'll insert the photo here of the before picture of this bag right here. So you guys can see the comparison. 
Um, when I send it off, she's still in beautiful condition. The vaqueta is beautiful. There is no um, cracking. There's nothing like that. There's no like big staining, you know, not not like that. I just really want the leather to be repaired so I can have a longer use of this one. And like I said, my request is to be able to keep this beautiful hardware right here. And this is the reason why it took eight months for this bag to come back. Okay, so when I sent this bag off or when I dropped off the bag, the manager already told me that, yes, of course, it's possible to be repaired. It's still in very beautiful condition, but he's going to try to ask if it's possible um, to find a, a hardware. But this hardware is, um, you know, unique and very old. So that's kind of like 50-50 if they're going to be able to find uh, the hardware to replace it. So... I said it's okay you know I sent it off it's fine I signed a paper and um, and then I waited and waited and waited right four months later I got a message that my bag or a text message that my bag is ready for pickup uh, and so I was very excited and I went to the boutique to uh, personally look at it and here I'll insert the photo of me looking at the bag um, See that it is very very stunning when it was in the boutique well the only problem is that um it came back all of this vaqueta is re replaced i'm sorry this is all replaced but the thing is this one right here and the leather pull tab that used to that it used to have they are both brown here i'll insert a photo quickly um, if you guys want to zoom it in or I will zoom it in for you guys see the difference of that It doesn't doesn't look really good. You know, I was like um, I mean the bag is gorgeous. The bag is beautiful But how I wish that all the vaqueta will be um, Replaced and it will all look even and also the problem with that time is that they cannot open this lock so with the pull tab and the lock i'll not be able to lock my bag you know so that's another bummer and um yeah so luckily they were kind enough to um assess the problem the situation i was like yes please please if you can just you know um find a way to to make all the vachetta um even that way i can just have a very beautiful bag uh, and so the other manager came out and she was like, okay, so let me uh, contact them. I think she did a phone call at the back room. And um, after a few minutes, she came back and she said, um, here, um, we have a suggestion. If we can um, just replace the zipper, you know, like the zipper and... I didn't actually realize that she's talking about replacing it looking like the newer version of the kipa which turned out very very beautiful so yeah she was referring to changing it this way if it's possible for the repair center to do that and have this you know have the vachetta of this replaced and just probably you know uh, polish this hardware so I'm assuming that's how it turned out and it turned out so beautiful yes it took eight months but i'm very very happy and very very pleased to the outcome to the outcome of this bag she is very very gorgeous yes guys i keep staring at it i keep like back and forth but it it's a beautiful piece brought back to life um oh yeah for the price for the price i paid um eight hundred dollars for all the vachetta to be replaced and um, I've heard a, a few people say that they were charged more than that um, with mine again I'm just so happy and thankful and blessed that they waived the price or the cost for all my hardware to be replaced so I have all new hardware the rivets um, this one right here and of course the love the lovely zipper so see how stunning is that 
So they waived the cost of that and just charged me for the vachetta since it took forever to return or came or come back to me. The only thing is that um, this hardware right here, I cannot open the lock of this one. And I don't think they can replace the lock according to them. I think it's a different lock or it's a little bigger lock. So yeah, it's totally fine with me. I think they just polish the this hardware and I don't really mind. It is lovely. It is gorgeous. It is very stunning. So yeah, so that's my um, experience with my Keepal 45. She is a perfect carry-on um, travel luggage size. I like the 45 better because it just suits my... I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the noise. Okay. We live near uh, the Air Force Base. So we hear that a lot. Sound of freedom, right? Thank you for our military servicemen and women. Anyways, so yes. Um, what am I saying? Okay. Anyways, yes. It is lovely. It is beautiful. It's worth all the money that I spent and have this one came back beautifully. Okay, guys. So let's move along to the second one. That's the key ball right there. And let's open this Petite Noe. Look at this one, guys. Look how stunning she is. She is actually stuffed the same as I received the bag. Is it too bright? Let me adjust the lighting really quick. There you go. Is it better? <laughs> there you go, guys. Look at that. Yes, she is stunning. She is really, really gorgeous. Although, she is heading back or returning to the care service today. <laughs> yes, today. I'm going to return her after I finish this video. Yes, guys. Unfortunately, although this one looks super stunning in front of you in the camera, I have to return her. And yes, I already have all the paperwork that um, I need to return this beauty right here. So first, let's talk about Petite Noe. This one, once again, is the vintage version. So I have the vintage version of Kipal, which has this hardware here. And this Petite Noe is the vintage version as well. As you guys are noticing, the newer version of the Petite Noe has the vaqueta around here all around the edges so this one um i think is already discontinued they don't produce this uh style any longer the one with just the vaqueta on the bottom you know what let me put this back here because again i'm returning her so i just want to make sure that she will return flawless um yes so unfortunately there is a problem with this bag how lovely is this let, let me just show this to you guys quickly see how beautiful this one is i was actually super bummed when um when i noticed the damage in this bag um i'll insert a photo of how i received this bag look how beautiful is that and the before if i can still find it I'm not sure because I think I deleted the before. But yeah. So when I send this bag off, um, compared to the Kipal, she is, the, the the vachetta of this one is not in very good condition. Um, it has a lot of staining. It has a lot of watermarks and damage. Um, yeah. So, but, but the canvas is in perfect condition. Um, I made sure, just like most of you guys are saying on YouTube when it comes to Louis Vuitton, that the that the canvas um, is perfect, no cracking, um, no, you know, no damage pretty much in order for them to be able to repair uh, the canvas. 
and uh, I've also seen a video of a speedy repair although her bag had um, crackings they repair it for her so wow well for that <laughs> um, you know congrats to her so anyways this one doesn't have any um, damage on the canvas at all so I asked them to um, repair all the vachetta and the hardware the the brummets do you guys say brummets I, I say eyelets for this um, so of course they did they did change the hardware for this but then I noticed they didn't change the the eyelets um, when I received the bag I was actually we were I was in a hurry we were in a hurry because we wanted to like drive and look at the foliage that day and it arrived like two o'clock in the afternoon um, so quickly I examined the bag um, there I find out that they didn't change the eyelid and you know as I was inspecting the bag I found a, a damage that really breaks my heart um, but then I took the bag just for a photo and put her back again um, in the dust bag because you know we want to keep it pristine right I received the bag three days ago and she's already out today the third day um, to be sent back um, for further assessment on on how they're gonna fix it but the problem is this one is vintage and the damage is done on the canvas you know let me insert to you guys the photo of um the damage i'm talking about and you guys tell me you know you guys make your decision or judgment about it here's the photo right there do you guys see that do you guys see all that hole that's on the canvas that's that's a bummer um it's actually on this side um by the way this one is made in france right there it's not focusing so they kept that and also the one here that says louis vuitton paris so, but look at look how gorgeous this one is i was i was actually looking forward to have this bag back they're very excited i love the vintage style more than the newer petite no way because it's less vachetta compared to the ones that they have now so yes guys that's a that's a bummer for me um i was really really upset when i saw that damage actually i didn't see it because it's kind of hard to see um and that's the thing right when you purchase a bag or when you sent off your bag for a repair always always double check everything you know all the details make sure you also uh, keep copies of how the bag looks like prior to sending and and if there's a damage take pictures and you know send it um, right away immediately if you did it online send it to them immediately and have them look at it so yes um, it's kind of hard to see but it's it was easy for me to feel it because I was touching the bag you know making sure it's oh, okay you know and then I felt um, a scratchy feeling right here and I was like what is that you know and then I had to look at it very very closely and that's when I noticed that very horrible holes that kind of looks like a v-shape um it's kind of like that right and then it's kind of kind of like a tab um for you know like those vachetta that they have um you know it's kind of like shaped like this but smaller so it's probably a smaller bag or vachetta I don't know I just don't understand so anyways it's right here I can feel it here okay which one? oh this way this one um, like I said it's it's gonna be very hard to see on the video Oops. but it's right in the corner here and I can I can really feel 
the the damage on the canvas and and although like i said although it's not um not easy to see on a bear or naked eye for me i'm still not gonna i'd like for them to do something about it because i don't want to cause any further damage to the bag if i'm going to keep it like that way you know if, if it gets um worst or something then then i'll not be able to um repair the bag eventually or in the future so yeah anyways but they were they were actually quick though i took a photo and i sent it to them emailed them the day i received the bag just an hour after i received the bag the mail or the email i already sent out the photos and everything they responded back to me yesterday with um the shipping label to be able to return the bag so that's nice they said according to the letter that um they want to look at it on on you know on how they're gonna um not fix but to assess the bag in person right so they need for me or you know um of course they need for me to return the bag so they can personally look at it and make their judgment after that so yeah so that's what's gonna happen i'm gonna send it today i'm gonna package this one i have all the paperwork um oh for the cost of the bag so here's the receipt right here sadly well at first when i opened the box i saw a, a letter from the person who repaired the bo the bag and you know she i was like oh she was so nice you know she left me a letter and after i saw the damage i was like oh but i didn't want to return the bag or the packaging with her letter I, I don't want her to be in trouble you know we don't want to do that it's it's probably a honest mistake hopefully hopefully so anyways i have the receipt here you know proof that they change the all the vachetta and repair the bag i paid 660 US dollars for this one and yes the the eyelids or the brommets is not um change so yes so I have one successful repair and then I have one that's fail <laughs> and what is sad for me is it's kind of hard to find the the petite no way in this vintage style you know i love i love this um folder version and it sits right perfectly on my waistline and she is not she's not that big and i love this slouch look of this one and it's, it's not really boxy so yes i don't know i i don't know what's gonna happen um I'll update you guys for sure, but that's a bummer. Also, they replaced the, not that they replaced, they put a D-ring here. Um, this one doesn't have a D-ring when I send it off. And oh yeah, by the way, the date code. So that's the only thing. Um, most of the repair for No Way, every time I see them make a review on YouTube, the date code is gone so yes guys it doesn't have a date code any longer because the date code of no way is usually engraved or stamped here but if you're gonna you know to think about it right this is the vachetta and they have to replace the vachetta and i don't know why i don't think i don't think they would really put a date code by far i haven't seen any repair that they have changed the date code if, if yours is done please 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 share it or leave a comment down below how did you in, how did you convince your essay for them to to leave the date code this one again um the date code is untouched only the numbers right so yes lovely pieces of vintage louis vuitton keep all 45 right here guys and then the petite no way um older version bo uh, both brought back to life to beauty timeless beauty and although this one is fail i'm still very very happy of the the quality and the craftsmanship that they put into this 
um, beautiful pieces okay so thank you guys for watching so to my Filipino um, subscribers again I will be doing a uh, low cash giveaway I hope you guys um, uh, follow just follow the description down below for the dynamics or the the procedure on how to um, entry and most of you guys are probably wondering where do I announce the winner or how do I pick the winner usually I announce it on the comment down on the comment section of the video and this time I have a Facebook group that I created just for the subscribers and for those that uh, made an entry for the giveaway so I will I will link everything down below so you guys can follow that once again let's leave the bag here that's so beautiful right once again thank you guys for watching and yes i miss everyone and yes happy fall thank you thank you thank you bye